Welcome. Welcome to our spa here in Charleston. What, Wendy? You've been watching Evening Shade? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hey, sorry. Would you like some, at our spa, our medical plastic surgery spa, would you like some complimentary Roman noodles or some oily and chili beans? It's the best we have to offer. And, of course, if your kidneys are giving you any trouble, we have um, the zero calorie, zero sugar cranberry juice. Well, we are the best plastic surgeon here in the South. I'm so glad you came, but, well, you know, it's um, gratis. It's free. Would you like some of that? Oh, you're in a pack. Oh, you went to Whole Foods. I've heard of that place. Oh, William Simona, David Harry. I, th I think they know those guys. Are they friends with Ben and Jerry? Well, anyhow, anyhow, I know I have an accent, but that doesn't mean I'm not intelligent. I, I've studied many years of plastic surgery, and here in Charleston, I worked, and I've worked, and I've worked, and I've worked, and I'm kind of curious why you came all the way from Los Angeles here to Charleston. I mean, I have a, a wonderful reputation, but not many of, you know, the celebrities come to Charleston for plastic surgery. I mean, I am the best of the best here in the South. What's your name again? Mindy? Mandy Moore. I, you know what? I read, your name came up recently. I'm up, they came, your name came up recently in one of my um, plastic surgery today medical journals. It was such an interesting case. It seems like you and your partner at the time had chased and bullied a girl online so bad she wanted to kill herself. But you know what saved her life? Was breast augmentation. Yes, but uh, some person named Mandy Moore and this Ryan Adams bullied this girl so bad she wanted to die. And the next day she got breast augmentation and was good. But the problem is that they said Dr. Pastrick said that she didn't even know what she was doing. She was having psychosis at the time, so she still doesn't know her bra size. I know, but you know, in plastic surgery, you know what we say. <laughs> if they're perky, they worky for a long time. So luckily, she'll be okay. But she still doesn't know her bra size. Can you believe that? But your name was in plastic surgery today because apparently breast augmentation saved this girl's life. Are my glasses, are they bothering you? They look like bicycles. They don't, okay, just making sure. But anyhow, looks like breast augmentation saved this Dana Dillon's life, but she never knew her bra size, never knew what she picked out. Because she was in such emotional trauma and never went back for a checkup. But if they're perky, they worky. If you if you're already straight and tall and northy, baby, we don't we there's not a lot else we do. But anyhow, um, so Miss Moore, what are you here for? A rhinoplasty. Oh no, I've done many rhinoplasties, but um, you brought a picture of what you wanted. Okay. Okay, that's very interesting. I mean, you have a beautiful nose, dear. I mean, in the South, we 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 tell the truth. You're you're a pretty girl. I just you know. All I just want you to know, I'm not I'm not a racist, but I am a plastic. I'm a I'm a plastic surgeon, and um. I have studied the face, worked really hard with the face, and this is a claw. This is a hawk nose. It is it's also a, established as a a Jewish nose. Now we've had people come from you know Hollywood, 
a lot of the, the Jewish women from Hollywood come here to get rhinoplasties to not have this nose. Are you sure you're wanting this nose? I just want to draw this out. I, I, I just want you to know that it is characteristic of the Jewish race to have a larger nose like this. That's what you want, just like the picture. Well, I'm just saying, Miss Mandy, you're a first. We've never had that before. But it is a very racial profilic nose. And you're a first. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I'm in good, you're in great hands here. Great hands. You know, I, I even, I don't know if you just want a little bit of Juvederm today. I've just been popping it under people's eyes, you know. I popped it right here today, just a little bit of Juvederm. Would you like a little Juvederm? You're good, okay. You know, most people, when they come to me, they want to look like Angelina Jolie. We have a lot of those people daily with the cheeks, you know, and the lips. But I've never, ever said, I want to look like this Jewish girl. And by all means, we're here to serve and make you look beautiful here in Charleston. We are classy. But I've never said, I'm just saying it. It might be a racial faux pas. No? Okay. All right. We'll do it. We'll get you set up in aftercare. But, you know, I'm just amazed. I got to meet you in the flesh after reading that horrific report in plastic surgery today. People are talking about you all over in the plastic surgery circle. And I guess they will be again. Oh, I didn't introduce myself, Dr. B. I'm, I'm Dr. Butterfingers. I mean, Buttersworth, Butterfingers. Fingers. Fingersburg. Butterfingers. Oh. You're in good hands.